is Jasmine. I am back. The last time I uploaded my previous video, it was the Ulta haul. I had so much stuff for y'all. Um, also, I had some Amazon finds, some other miscellaneous random finds. But I told you guys I was going to upload another video trying on those brushes for the first time, trying on a lot of the Juvia's Place products, and I showed you guys some other products. Um, so in this video is going to be a get ready with me story time of the worst month of my life. And when I tell y'all it has been so much drama, I just decided to sit down and share all the drama with y'all. So this may be a long video, but I appreciate you guys just listening and tuning in and following me and subscribing to me and i won't keep you guys for long okay so i went into a little detail about this crazy like month that i had a little bit over a month and a half maybe even going into two months now but i don't know if i shared this info with you guys because you guys know that i am a little bit of a mystery like i like to be mysterious i don't like to give you guys too much just a little bit but not too much but i did get a new car so that's the first thing we'll talk about. And that was like mid-August. Well, maybe about a month and a half into me getting that new car. So this would have been September 21st. I got into, it wasn't like a fender bender. I, I would call it, mm, I can't call it a collision or accident because it's more like, it was definitely my fault. And it was more of me colliding into someone else's car and their trailer. So that was the second thing that happened. Third thing, y'all, I was sick with a severe sinus infection for like a month off and on. I went back and forth to um, urgent care because my primary doctor was in Spain. So I had to go back and forth to urgent care like three times and we'll get into the details of that but yeah three times i went back and forth and during this time i could feel myself like getting a lupus flare like i could just feel that my body was just like going through it fourth thing y'all this is the fourth reason why after this like life just went to in a hand basket like it was a mess so I realized that Mocha had sustained, like something was going on with like her back, her legs. She had sustained some kind of injury or like something was going on with her. So that's the fourth reason why. And we'll we'll get into the details while I'm showing you guys like my makeup and doing the get ready with me. The fifth thing, y'all. I am in a lupus flare presently. Not like a full-blown lupus flare. It's a little mild. It's a little, you know, forthcoming, but yeah, I'm in a lupus flare. I have a little butterfly rash. Uh, my hair is gone on the right side of my head. And I'll insert um, the video that I took before, like putting my wig and stuff on to show you guys the bald spot on the right side of my head. So I'm inserting this video so that you guys can see yeah so yeah this is what this looks like a hot mess precisely and my hair i don't know this happened like over a weekend um last weekend i noticed that this was gone so yeah um i've been having joint pain my legs my feet my ankles are swollen so if dealing with mochas like illness and sickness wasn't enough here comes a full-blown lupus flare okay that's a little introduction of what this get ready with me story time about the worst month of my life is about but in the meantime while i'm talking to you guys and filling you in and updating you and oversharing um i am going to go over the products i'm finally going to use these products y'all i have been holding on to these products just to make this or film this video for you guys <clears throat> because i wanted to show you how the real technique brushes that i bought in my ulta haul and i will add that clip in here 
um, so that you could go back and look at the video that I posted before this one. But I did buy a lot of new Real Technique brushes. I bought some Juvia's Place products. And also, um, I did buy, and I purchased this a while ago. It is from Ulta, but I didn't get it in the haul. But I did purchase it a while ago. And um, it's these products from The Ordinary that has been... I've kind of been um, integrating this into my daily like skincare routine. So I'll show you guys that too. So this is the oil that I use by The Ordinary. It's a retinol oil. Um, this is what it looks like. All of this stuff was very, very like, I'm telling you, I think this might have been like $7.99 or $8.99. But I just go in with a little bit daily and i have been um incorporating this into like my daily routine um i mostly it just depends on what mood i am in sometimes i will use it in the morning sometimes at night i'll just kind of after doing my um facial wash and stuff like that i will use this before bed and then this is the natural moisturizing um daily facial moisturizer by the ordinary this is what it looks like yeah and i use just like a little bit of that also i've been learning that the key to a good good um not like wet but glowy look is definitely um your moisturizer your foundation and base and sometimes when i have a little leftover i would just put it like on my hands you know and guys, you have to excuse this little cut here. I was trying to shave my mustache, y'all. I am also going to show you guys because in the other haul from last time, or the previous video, the Ulta haul, and also the haul was like Amazon because um, they had a deal day and some other things. But I picked up the Brow Wiz Skinny Brow Pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And you guys know I cannot do my eyebrows on camera. Okay, I'm back. I did um, use the Anastasia Thin Brow Wiz Pencil. If you're like me, <coughs> excuse me guys. If you're like me and like you have really, really, really skinny eyebrows, you don't have a lot to work with, I definitely recommend that. Also, I have been using lately the elf brow lift like this little clear gel or whatever i love it it just gives like my eyebrows just an extra little i don't know it makes it look like wispy or like feathery so i definitely recommend this as well if you don't have um lots of eyebrows to work with so let's get into what we're supposed to be discussing. And y'all know I can talk for days, so I don't even know how long this story time is going to be. But I am going to go ahead with my normal products as I would when I get ready with me. You guys know I love Morphe Filter Effect Concealer. I am shade... I am shade medium 14, which is also considered warm. So I am just going to go in with that a little bit. But as we do that, I will go ahead and get into the story time. And y'all, I don't forgot to put on primer. So this is going to be a primeless beat, okay? So first and foremost, like I said, I got my car, I think it was like August 16th or August 17th. I was so excited. If you guys know, I have a, well, previously, I own a 2000 eight chevy cobalt which my sister drives now um and that car has been getting me around since college i got it like my second year of college and the car has just been getting me around okay so y'all tell me why um the day after i make my first car payment which september 21st is when i got into my accident I got into a, like, I ran into this guy's um, pickup truck. So, let me tell you the story. So, I was in Tampa for an appointment, and I was going to get gas on my way back. I think 
the issue was is that I was like a little distracted. I'll be honest, like I'll tell the truth because let this be a little bit of a lesson for you other guys to just like slow down. Just slow down sometimes when you have a lot going on. I was distracted. I was I wasn't in the moment like texting, but previously I was like texting my mom about um getting like her and her coworker like lunch and stuff like that. I was doing that and then I remember previously I was talking to a friend of mine about just like a little issue that she was having. And when I'm finished getting the gas, um, so I was parked in the rear gas pump, the, the rear one. And then I noticed that this guy in a green pickup truck comes in front of me. But what I didn't realize is that he was hauling a trailer. The trailer was like super, super low. Like I didn't see it, but I'm just describing it like after the fact or whatever. It was like super, super low, guys. And the way my car, I don't have a sedan anymore. I have kind of like, um, is it called a hatchback? It's like a crossover hatchback. I have a Chevy Trax. And... The way the front of the car is made, it does lift up a little. And y'all, I did not see that this guy was um, dragging a trailer or like hauling a trailer. So I'm whipping out. I'm just like whipping out of the lane as normal. I wasn't going super fast or anything like that. But I hear a scrubbing sound. And like in my mind, mind you, I'm still not seeing that this trailer is in front of me or that by this point I'm dragging it. I hear a scrubbing sound. And I'm like, that's weird. Is something like caught under my car? So I still drive forward a little bit because it's like, if something's caught under your car, you can't do anything other than just like drive over it. And then finally I look up and this guy is like waving his hands in the air in front of me. He's like, like trying to tell me like, stop, stop, stop. And he wasn't English speaking, he was Spanish speaking only. And I'm like, looking like, what is going on? Y'all, I get out of the car to assess like what's going on, what's happening. I look at my car, I see that like the grill and the bumper is just, it looked like somebody got a chainsaw and just like, like did this up in the front of my car. And I just like, I'm just like shocked, like just shocked. So. I'm like, oh my God, sir, I'm so sorry. Like, I did not see that you were um, carrying a trailer. So I go back to my car. I call my dad. I'm going to stop there because, see, I'm talking. I'm just talking and I'm not even showing you guys my products. So I go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. And then I'm going to blend it with Born This Way. And Born This Way, I am shade Natural Beige. And the Halo Glow... I am, I am shade three, which is light medium. So back to story time. I get in the um, car. I call my dad because of course, like we always do when we've gotten ourselves into some SHIT, we call our dads to fix it. I call my dad. I'm like, boohoo crying. I'm like, dad, I have destroyed my car. And he's like, what is wrong? I'm like, I ran into this guy's trailer at the gas station and he's like don't worry about it like and he's just like of course telling me like dad stuff like you know call the insurance provider like get you know um exchange insurances like this and that and so um i go to do that and before i do that like i take pictures to show my dad like you know um what the damage is and stuff like that and my dad is just like, he calls me back and he's just like, Jasmine, it's not that bad. Like, you're being dramatic. So he's trying to like calm me down and, and this and that. And then I go to try to exchange numbers with the guy. Again, the guy only speaks Spanish. So he calls his daughter and his daughter is like, at first she was like, cool. And then when I was telling her that I was trying to ask him for his um, insurance information, she started being like a little hesitant. She was like, well, I don't understand why you need to get his insurance information if you're the one that hit him. 
And I was like, that's just what you do. Like, that's the formality of, you know, you getting into a car accident or a collision, fender bender. Like, it doesn't even matter what it is. Um, you know, what you have insurance for, you exchange insurance. Like, obviously, I don't know your dad personally. So, and I'm, I'm not, like, saying all of this. The only thing I said to her was just that that's, like, formality. Like, you exchange insurance information. But in my mind, I'm like, girl, how else am I supposed to call in a claim? I don't have none of this person's information. So it was like a long drawn out thing, but for the video, like I'm not even gonna get into it, but I had to call the police um, because they refused to exchange insurance information. So literally like this whole situation took an hour and a half more than like it should simply because they didn't want to, um, they just didn't want to cooperate with like just, the simple uh task that they could have done they just made things 20 times like harder than it needed to be so the police come they do like the traffic uh collision whatever they have to do and we got all of that settled with insurance okay whatever car you know we get all that fixed okay so now i am just going to do um just a little contouring i've been using this lately this is the elf cream contour palette so let's get into the second like issue or whatever that i have had this month so probably like a week or two after the whole car thing i realized that i'm having like um, sore throat, just like voice loss, like a chronic cough, nasal drip, like all of this stuff. And um, I go to like my primary doctor and he's like, oh, um, you have a sinus infection. He gives me like, you know, that prednisone pack and um, what else did he give me? Like antibiotics or something like that. So I take that. You guys know that that's like normally like a week long treatment or whatever. I take that and I'm feeling sick like literally y'all uh, like two days after I finish the treatment okay so after that I start realizing that I'm having like night sweats and like um, chills and like uh, night fevers and just like things like that that reminded me of like my early diagnosis with lupus so I realized that this sinus infection was like causing me a lupus flare so um at this point i call like my primary doctor and my primary doctor is in spain so that's not helpful so i had to go to urgent care um i go to urgent care they give me the prednisone pack again and they give me like another antibiotic this time and um send me on my way same thing happens y'all same thing happens i feel better you know i take it for like a week i feel better for like two days i get sick again at this point i'm starting to realize that mocha is showing signs of just like a back injury or like something going on she was being like hesitant to jump on the couch like she normally does um just like a little different in like how she normally does things um or like how she's like active um before i go into that i'm going to show you guys like my normal concealer that i use these are shades medium warm and medium beige by elf you can just pick these up from like walmart or target i'm also going to use the real techniques brush for the first time that i picked up in the ulta haul in the video previous to this one this is the soft sculpting brush and this will be my first time using it so i hope that it's a, you know i hope it works out for me let's see But yeah, so I realize that Mocha is, um, something's going on with her. So I take her to the vet, of course, and they tell me that she's showing signs of something that's quite, um, familiar and something that's quite common 
with Dotsons, which is the breed that Mocha is. And if you're not familiar with Dotsons, they are the little hot dogs or wiener dogs, which is what people, um, you know, call them. And um, I've heard of this before. It's IVDD, and I can't remember what the I and the V stands for, but it's de de degenerative disc disease. And um, that's what she was showing signs of, y'all. I had to get her on like medicine, like steroids, and she had to take like nerve medicine. And I had to like give her um, this medicine, which is kind of like a tranquilizer, just to like confine her. And I had to like keep her like off of her legs and from walking. She was supposed to be like on strict rest and have like all of these restrictions which if y'all know mocha mocha is crazy so like that just doesn't work for her y'all why maybe like two days later i wake up and i realize that this girl cannot use the um her back legs like her hind legs so of course, I'm freaking out. I'm still sick. I'm still running fevers. I'm still like literally going through it. And I'm having to um, like figure this out. Like, you know, you still got to figure out what's going on with the dog, regardless of how you're feeling. So I rush her back to the vet. At this point, of course, like they are alarmed by you know her uh symptoms that she's so showing and like what's going on they recommend a mri mri is three thousand plus dollars of course you know they have to have anesthesia they have to have like all of these things that go along with having an mri and at this point i'm going to use for the first time the real techniques brightening concealer brush and I always spray a little bit of setting spray before going in with this stuff. So they um, recommend that, of course, like I'm going to do whatever they recommend because at this point, like my dog's freaking legs aren't working. So I'm just doing whatever. I'm so stressed, y'all. I'm thinking that Mocha's going to be like the dogs that you see on the cartoons that have lost their legs, their... Um, you know the dogs I'm talking about, they have like the little roller things that they have to use. Like, you know, I'm thinking like literally the worst, y'all. <laughs> thinking the absolute worst. So we go through the MRI, um, you know, the whole situation is pretty much confirmed with what she has. Like there's a little, a few spots on her discs where they're like kind of worn down this and that so she still like has her restrictions and things like that but thankfully within a few days like of taking the medicine um she improved and at the moment she still has her restrictions but they want her to do water therapy one to two times a week which is 98 dollars a session so yeah so you know with that being said all of this stress that I was enduring, um, you know, while being sick, the going here, the back and forth, the, the multiple appointments a week for myself and the dog. Of course, it caused me to have a full blown lupus flare, y'all. Full blown lupus flare. Probably a week after dealing with like mocha situation and getting her like handled and settled, I realized that I could not like um, go, like walk up and down the stairs. Like I was having joint pain. Like I realized that like my legs, my feet, my ankles were like swelling again. I realized that like my lupus rash was coming and I just was realizing all of these things. Um, I went on a trip that weekend, like a little family trip. Um, and just, I don't know, it's just like it came at me full blown. Not only that, I realized while I was on my family trip that um, I had like a patch of hair on the right side come out of my head, y'all. A whole patch of hair. 
and I'm going in with the One Size by Patrick Star. Is that his name? His setting powder is so nice. I love it. I'm going to go in with that just to leave a little bit of this under the eye. Yeah, so I realized that my hair is gone. And at that point, I was like, oh, crap. Like, I need to... Um, you know, get a hold of my doctors, which with my leg situation, um, if you don't know, I've talked about like in some previous videos, I've talked about some of my symptoms and gone into detail with my different diagnoses. But with my legs, when lupus affects my legs, it normally gives me vasculitis, which also starts to affect like the nerves in my legs, which is called mononeuritis. Um, so last week I had to go to like two emergency visits. I went to my neurologist and then, um, after, sh after, um, uh, messaging my rheumatologist on like the little patient portal thing, they had me come in um, to see her, you know, for rheumatology, which is who I see for lupus. So guys, again, in the Ulta haul from my previous video, I did show you guys that I got the Juvia's Place Volume 2 Blush set, or Duo, excuse me. And then I got a liquid blush. This is shade Soft Tulip. And I am going to use two shades. So I'm going to use these two shades, and I'm also going to use the Real Technique blush brush um and this is i don't know it doesn't have a specific name but it is linked under my other video my previous video so go find that link to see which one this is i also oh you know what oh it's not on here okay yeah the name is not on here it just says blush brush but i also this is like an older brush by real techniques and this is called the tapered cheek brush and I'm going to go in, I'm, I usually use both of them depending on the area that I'm going to put my blush in. Um, and I'll show you guys. So if you don't know, Juvia's Place is very, very, very pigmented. Um, which I've learned the hard way because I'm very uh, heavy handed on products. So I just put like a little bit here. And then what I'm going to do is blend that and then I go in um with the other lighter shade up on top so i'm just going to use this first and put a little setting spray on there and previously it's taken me a while to figure out what blush exactly like where i want it to sit but i just really want it like a little subtle look today because it is fall time so it's not like i'm going to you know meeting one or anything like that and i'm actually going to go in with this lighter sh the lower shade right here just to put it on top and see how that's so pigmented already i'm just gonna go in with that a little bit and that does the trick And then just to get them like a little bit on the cheek area, the apples of the cheeks, I do go in with this one because it's just a little bit more precise. And just do like this. And it's just a little bit more precise right there on the cheeks. But I did get distracted um, from talking about my flare and like following up with my doctor. So my doctor wants me to go back on prednisone and then possibly try a new treatment and to increase like my normal medicine, which I take um, on a daily basis, which is Plaquenil. It's a very common medicine for people who have lupus to be on. And I am going to go in with the medium bronzed duo palette just to warm myself up a little bit. But yeah, just to update you guys, like I am doing fairly like better even just within a few days from um, incorporating those different treatments. 
and I go in with the top one. Um, I'm doing fairly better already and like again it's a really really mild flare it's nothing compared to how I have been um, in the past. So I'm like hopeful I think everything will be better. Um, I do have like a little bit of a timeline or like goal for things to be better because my birthday is in January and I do have plans and everything like that. So I'm hoping that everything will just be like back to normal by that time, um, which I'm sure there are. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the atmosphere. They're going to be better. Um, but I'm doing good, guys. It's just that everything just like hit me at once and that can be like really really overwhelming you know what i mean so um i was just like whoo so this is another new product this is the setting um powder in cairo light three that's the shade it's called the i am magic powder foundation now some people can use this obviously as a foundation if you find it in the shade um you know, like your regular shade that you would use as powder. But I did want to try it as an under eye powder. So this is a new brush. This is the Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm going to use this for the first time. Just, ooh. Now you got to be kind of lightheaded. I'm going to use it for the first time just to sit like under the eye a little bit. And... It looks so nice, y'all. It blends together really well. And I do typically tend to drag it like in the different areas here. Hmm. Now, normally for my normal uh, foundation shade, I use Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. What shade? This is shade Honey, which is also 33. But I think the next time uh, they have a sale, I'm going to try to look and see what shade I would be in just in like your all over powder um, foundation shade. Um, I usually just go in just to like even out, you know, some areas. Normally where the contour meets like the regular shade on my face. And just like on my forehead in the middle. So yeah, I feel like I have kind of been like sharing a little bit um, online, like, you know, on Instagram, TikTok and stuff like that, like a little bit of the situation. But I was like, you know, for my YouTube followers, I will just do like a store time, sit down, get ready with me because I already wanted to show you guys these products anyways. But I was like, I'll just do like a little story time to really just update everybody, you know? Um, I'm gonna go in with this Tarte eyeshadow palette. I do not know what edition this is. Oh, it's called Gilded. Amaz Amazonian Clay Gilded, I don't know. Um, I got this like a while ago, it's nothing new. But I figured I'm like, I will just update everybody, just let everyone know like what's going on because child, this girl was stressed. Y'all, I was really, really stressed. And it's like something that people don't understand is that with lupus, like it doesn't matter. People think that you can just turn stress on and off or you can just deny being stressed, but it doesn't quite work that way with lupus. Like you know your body you're kind of like outside of your immune system and what your body decides to do with your immune system um and that's just kind of what happened so i am better and i think i'm gonna get better but um i just wanted to share with y'all because i was losing it like i was really i was really on the verge if you guys have seen that movie 13 reasons why that was me for a little bit because Sister girl was going through it. But y'all know I will find a way to like, to encourage y'all through the message because I'm telling you, stay encouraged, stay encouraged. And I knew it was going to be like that. Like I knew I was going to be so stressed throughout the whole situation. 
but I knew everything was just gonna work itself out. And I think that the main reason I was so stressed was because at the time when I was like doing all of, having to like bear all of this phys physical stuff with Mocha, like I had to like, obviously like pick her up and tote her around and like do all of these things. I didn't have my parents here. They were um, in Alaska at the moment and child, it was just hard. Like it's hard when you don't feel well and y'all Mocha is overweight. She's like 17 pounds. So which um, with my muscle issues and like my muscle dystrophy and stuff like that, 17 pounds probably like doesn't seem like any weight to y'all, but I cannot hold her. I cannot pick her up and log her around. Definitely while I'm sick myself, like while I'm running fevers, we're talking about fevers over like 100 and not feeling well myself. It was really, really, really rough for me. So again, just to motivate you guys, like when you're feeling like that and you're feeling like you don't know how you're fixing to get through like this this chaos and i'm telling you guys never in my life have i had like just a month a month and a half two months of just like bad luck until this situation and child that's really how it was i'm just like oh my god can can i please catch a break this is my normal product that i use this is morphe spark highlighter and i'm just gonna use just a little bit of that And I'm going to do an intermission because y'all know I can't multitask. These are my lashes I picked up on the haul as well from Juvia's Place. It's the Nubian Lash Line in Biba. It's a, or Biba. It's a medium volume. I also use the Nubian Lash Glue. I'm going to use this. I'll be back. I'm going to put my lashes on. Now let me just tell y'all something about this Juvia's Place glue. And this is an honest review. If you are a pro, you'll love it. It's a great product for pros. If you're a beginner like me, you're probably going to have a little bit of a time with it only because it doesn't give you the room to like manipulate the eyelash sometimes. Um, you know, a lot of people's like eye shape just is obviously not shaped like this. So sometimes you need to like maneuver it around and like, Sometimes you put it up there and it's cockeyed or it's cricket. So you got to take it off, <coughs> move it around a little, wiggle around a little bit. With this, you ain't got the option to do all that. Once it's on, it's on. It's stiff and it sticks. So you better be knowing what you're doing before you, um, before you buy this Nubian Lash Glue. That's an honest review. Okay, so you guys see my lashes again. That is the Nubian lash. It is medium vol volume. It's Biba or Biba, B-I-B-A is how you spell it. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. It's not like too much, but it is giving you a little va va -voom. Now I am going to finish off and do my lips. Um, I need to, I need like a lip something another because sometimes my lips get so 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 dry i think i'm gonna put just this little yummy gloss underneath just to give it something but i'm going to go in with nyx pencil this is nude beige and just do a little outline just a little bit of an outline y'all Going with Nick's cinnamon roll. And I usually just go on the outsides. And it's just, these are just clear glasses, but they all have a little bit of a tint. And so this is a little bit of a more brown nude tint. And then this one is called, this is Madeline. And Madeline is like a little bit of a lighter nude. And I just put that here in the center. 
And then if you want to add a little glitz, I put the Fenty Beauty on top. And that is it for the face, y'all. I got this wig. Um, it's like a half wig from divatress.com. I will link that below as well. But y'all know in my other haul, I did pick up some Amazon finds, but some of those finds hadn't gotten here yet. And I showed y'all two sunglasses that I was kind of on the fence about. I actually ended up returning those because I did not like them on me. I know a lot of people like them, but I didn't like them on me. But I did get these and y'all, I love these. I absolutely love them. So I will link them below. I always have to show you guys what my new finds are. Also, I got some toiletry bags because on my little family trip, my best friend Sharnice was um, making fun of me because I couldn't find my Vera Bradley toiletry bag. And so I had my stuff on like a bunch of Shein bags. But I did want to show you these that I got from Amazon. Um, I got this in a pack and it was like $23. But this is a toiletry bag and it's so roomy. Like open it up. Is super super roomy y'all so this is for stuff miscellaneous stuff this is the one for face so I'm assuming like whether you want to put skincare products or you want to put your makeup in there so cute and again I'll link these this is for hair products you know scrunchies body pins things like that edge control brushes and this says for skin too, so I don't know if this is for like facial wash, moisturizer, things of that sort as well. But I love these, y'all. I will link these below. These are the perfect toiletry bag. Again, all these all came in a pack for like $23. I also got a med bag. Oh, I don't feel like going downstairs to get in my medicine bag. But I'll link it. I'll link it, y'all, for sure, for sure. But they were so super cute. But y'all, that is it for my get ready with me story time of the worst like month of my life. If you take anything from me, just know to just keep going y'all because I promise you there has been many, many times where I feel so challenged. But by the end of like me going through those stumps, I always feel like at the end of the day, it's just like a sigh of relief. And I always tell myself like, remember when you know you were feeling so stressed you were feeling so down like you had all of these feelings but you got through it so just always remember like even if it feels like you're on the verge of just like being like i give up i surrender listen i found my saying myself saying lord i surrender so many times like this month and a half this last two months but just remember that you're gonna get through it and you're gonna look back and be like that was hard but i did get through and i will see you guys next time bye